Hello everyone. Well, today is a very special day. Today's the day. It is Heavenly Mother's Day. Happy Heavenly Mother's Day to all of you. And the mother is the most important because she's the one that actually gave birth to us. This Heavenly Mother. And so we should honor the Heavenly Mother on Heavenly Mother's Day and worship her and show her our love. <laughs> For those of you who aren't aren't uh, into worshiping a uh, goddess, that's all right. Um, anytime you're interested and want to worship goddess, you can, and, uh, and no harm done. <laughs> In fact, it will help you because the Heavenly Mother helps everyone who asks for her help. She helped me many years ago when I was stuck at a certain location and couldn't get back home again. And I prayed to the Heavenly Mother and she delivered me a free plane ticket. <laughs> a free plane ticket right in my hand. Just just after I had prayed to her about it, she, she delivered a free plane ticket for me. I won a contest. I won the plane ticket so I was able to get home great story, right? <laughs> well, what about the news? What's been going on in the news these days? Um, I, I'm going to, going to do a very special sermon today on the subject of these EF5 tornadoes that have been ripping through America's heartland. Because as far as the news is concerned, these people are largely forgotten. They're forgotten and the damage done to their lives and their livelihoods has been forgotten. But we here do not forget you. We do not forget you or your plight. We remember you and we remember your plight and we care. We care about you. We care what's happening to you. These EF5 tornadoes, it's like nothing has ever been seen before. There were 300 tornadoes in one storm. One storm with 300 tornadoes. That's an insane number of tornadoes. You never heard about that ever. In the whole history of weather, you never heard about 300 F5 tornadoes ripping through the heartland. You never heard about that. Never. I don't remember back in my time hearing about it, and my mom doesn't remember it either. She doesn't remember uh, 300 F5 tornadoes because there were none. There were, there, I mean, there were uh, tornadoes, yes, and Kansas was known for tornadoes, but there were never 300 in one storm. That's excessive, and... It's a sign of something bad is happening. And it's happening to the people. It's the people of our heartland that are suffering because of these tornadoes. And there's flooding. Flooding, flooding, flooding. Everywhere there's flooding. There's flooding in Texas. There's flooding in uh, the American South. There's flooding in New England. There's flooding everywhere. They're just being inundated with water. Now, I'll give you a little, a little story. This has been happening for many, many years, maybe thousands of years in India. We're becoming more like India because India has floods every single year. And the floods overflow the banks of the rivers and thousands of people die every year and millions are displaced every year. They just have to keep moving around because their property is underwater. So not good, right? Not good at all to, to realize that we're becoming more like India and pretty soon we'll have an economy like India too with all these tornadoes beating us up unless something changes. Unless something changes, and we, the to the people who are who are suffering, 
with these floods and these tornadoes. I just want to let you know that we have your back. We have your back. We haven't forgotten you. You are remembered. But, and this but is a big caveat, but despite all the aid that we may send, the aid packages and the love packages that we may send to you, uh, nothing can replace your home. Nothing can replace your home, and once your home is destroyed, there's nothing that can replace it. Um, living in a, a apartment is especially hazardous. I can attest to this. Living in an apartment is a hazard because um, there, there you live with other people, and other people can try to, you know, uh, start a fire, cause an explosion, uh, you know, all sorts of things that neighbors do that, that isn't nice to their neighbors. They do, they do these bad things. And so, um, you never know when you're going to have, going to lose your home when you live in an apartment. And home, for those who are homeowners and landowners, um, it, it's devastating when a tornado hits because it's your life's work. You put your life's work into owning and maintaining a home, and then when the tornado takes it away, you still have to pay the the uh, mortgage on it, even though it's gone. Your home is gone. And home insurance doesn't always cover all of this because it's becoming more frequent. And the insurance companies want to sneak out of paying pay, paying out to help the people who have lost their homes and lost their livelihoods it hits businesses too these tornadoes and it ripped through several states uh, omaha nebraska uh oklahoma um missouri it, it ripped through these, Kansas, it ripped through the heartland of America, the heartland where we grow wheat and corn. It ripped through there, and um, we just, we're so sad for you guys. But I want to let you know you're not forgotten, and Goddess especially hasn't forgotten you. Goddess doesn't, hasn't forgotten you, as she has a special message for you. Yes, Goddess has a special message for you on this Heavenly Mother's Day. She wants to let you know that there's a reason these things keep happening and that there's a way out, but it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take time to rebuild the heartland after these tornadoes have ripped through, but there's something you can do that you can start doing anyway to lessen the effect of these tornadoes and those of you who care about the heartland care about your own homes that have been flooded um i suggest that you also have have a message from goddess that you should help the heartland out you should help out the heartland by doing this also now what am i talking about i'm talking about cold hard science yes friends cold hard science something we we wish we could forget because science has brought so many ills upon us but cold hard science says that climate change isn't pretty yes i said the word climate change <laughs> it's the evil word climate change the evil words Climate change is happening, and it it's devastating our planet. Our whole planet, the the storms, the fire storms, the 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 flaming wildfires, the the uh, the flooding, the tornadoes, the hurricanes, all of it, all of it is related to climate change. And what we need to do is stop burning so many fossil fuels. 
That's what we need to do. We need to stop burning so many fossil fuels. And I just, I, I can't put it any other way. That's just what we need to do. We care about you guys. We care about you guys. And because we care about you guys, we're going to try to burn less fossil fuels. We need to switch to clean sources of energy. Even, uh, even nuclear power is better than, than these storms that we've been having erupt because of the atmosphere being full of carbon dioxide. We need to get back on track with, with, uh, with um, climate change measures. And we need our leaders to step up to the plate and say, yes, we agree, climate change is real, and we're going to do something about it. We're going to do something to fix the climate change. So that's what we need to do. We need to get our leaders to tell our congressmen and women and to elect congressmen and women who are pro-environment. And unfortunately, the only people who are pro-environment are the liberals. Yes, the people who don't care about our safety are also pro-climate pro, uh, change. So I'll leave it up to you. Do you care about your house? Do you care about your neighbor's houses? Do you care about your community? Do you care about your, your, your uh, country, the United States of America? Do you care about the world? If the answer to the, all of the above is yes, then you need to accept. You need to come to acceptance that there's such a thing as climate change. And you need to do something to stop the destruction of the heartland. And the destruction of our beautiful cities with floods and, and hurricane force winds, which have been demolishing our cities and our states and our country. So write to your congressperson and find out if they care about climate change or if they just want to drill, drill, drill like, like Trump says. <laughs> Trump's not a very environmentally friendly guy, but he means well. He means well because he wants America to be energy self-sufficient. The only problem with that is, is that we're using up our natural resources faster. And so they'll run out faster when he drills, drills, drills. He doesn't think about the future or kicking the can down the road for future generations. He just wants to appeal to people who like the sound of drill, drill, drill. <laughs> because it's business, right? And it creates jobs. But we need to conserve our resources because we're almost out of resources. And what is going to happen then? Then it's going to be chaos. It's going to be every man and woman and child in the streets trying to survive for themselves. It's going to be all for your, all for oneself. And it's going to be a competition for survival. And it's not that long off. Less than 30 years. So... It may have begun already because we're seeing a switch to free free electricity and solar panels and wind farms. And the reason we're seeing this is just because people know that our, our energy supply is limited. And whoever still has the energy available becomes the, the trump card. <laughs> They hold the trump card, and because they hold the trump card, they get to uh, tell you what to do, like a foreign co government. That's why we should conserve America's natural resources and use uh, foreign oil as much as possible at the current time, so we'll still have some left to last us a few more years once the... the uh, foreign reserves have been dried up. Just thinking about the future of America. And anybody who thinks that uh, nu nuclear is the solution is just a madman because they want to kill people. 
So don't even think about nuclear as a solution. I'm not talking about nuclear power. I'm talking about nuclear war. Don't think a nuclear war is a solution to this problem because it's not. And it would devastate our environment. It would kill whatever animals we have left. And it would ruin the, the uh, ecosystem of our earth. And it will kill a lot of people. A lot of people will die if there's a nuclear war. So we don't want a nuclear war. We need to take measures right now to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. We need to start using clean energy sources and develop them as much as possible. So that's it. Um, we're going to look out for you guys that have been, who have lost your homes to tornadoes and who have lost everything you own to flooding. We're going to look out for you and we're going to do whatever it takes to help you out. Even if that means uh, that we have to save the earth. We have to save the earth. Because the earth is precious and we're losing it. We're losing our earth to climate change. It, it's destroying homes. It's destroying homes and it's destroying our communities. And it's destroying property and it's destroying our our earth so the planet and goddess want to help you out but you have to do your part also you have to do your part and reduce your dependency on fossil fuels do whatever you can walk to work or if you can't walk to work uh do a ride share to work and uh, or take a public transportation to work, whatever you, whatever's available to you. And um, reduce some of your use of plastics. Try not to buy so many plastic items. And try to, um, try to um, reduce your, your consumption of meat, red meat, and because that the 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 most um, f fuel in intensive operations are the beef industry, the beef industry, followed by the pig industry, swine, and then and then chickens are the least harmful uh, food. So more chicken, eat more chicken. <laughs> Uh, spare the cows <laughs> but it's true that the the beef industry and the milk industry are the most um, energy intensive so this heavenly mother's day we say a prayer for the heartland and we pray that the heartland will be restored and that People will get their houses back and be able to rebuild and without more, more storms and more chaos and more disruption of our communities. Let it be so. And I will see you on the day of her grace, which is next Wednesday. Bye-bye. See ya.